Hello everyone, welcome to my Easter baking video 2022. Didn't know what year it was there. And I'm worried with the hand movements. It's too much, it's too much. No, welcome to my Easter baking video 2022. So I know I've sort of broke a promise this week of giving you two videos, but you know, Easter, got the decorations, couldn't really pass up the opportunity. So it might be a slightly longer video than like my channel average because um, I'm making two Easter baskets for my neighbours. Um, and yes, to go along with that, I'm going to be doing a chocolate Easter tray bake and some Easter cookies. So yeah, two recipes crammed into one video basically. Okay, so for the shortbread recipe, it's a really, really simple one. Um, it's from BBC Good Food. Just type in shortbread recipe and it will literally come up um, in Safari, Google, whatever. So, the first thing would be to zero my scales and have them in the right unit. There we go. So, the first thing that you obviously need to do is grease your tray. Don't make the mistake that I've made in the past of not greasing your tray properly and having your cookies stick to it or shortbread. Um, I'm probably going to get in trouble, but I'm going to have to use the log pack because basically, yeah, it's just, it's not for it um, with the baking spread. And we are using our fingers because We've just realised that we've forgotten to get kitchen roll and I'm not really going to bother editing <laughs> this video because um, then it cuts out like the majority of the baking. So, there we go. I'll wash them after. Just getting my greaseproof paper. I always stick it down. So that I know like exactly how much I'm having to use and I'm just tearing it rather than cutting it as well. So beat the butter and the sugar together until smooth. Um, so you need 55 grams of castor sugar which is this one. The scales are just behind here by the way if you're wondering where they've went. Yeah, so 125 grams of butter. That's that one done. I wouldn't recommend mixing the butter and baking spread but there we go exactly 125 okay so i wouldn't recommend the whisk that i'm using because all of the things have stuck so we're hoping that the flour will ease the stitch so it's 180 grams of plain flour. That's that on my slippers. We just accept that we make a mess when we bake and then we'll worry about the cleaning up afterwards. 186, oh well. So I'm just gonna sift that in now. Okay, so actually rolling out the cookies slash shortbread is the next stage. I have just realized that I probably won't have enough room on the one tray. So, don't know what I'm going to do. We're having to problem solve, but 
yeah I've put the flower out on the worktop and now I need to roll out the shortbread um, to make sure that I can cut the shapes. I will show you the shapes that I'm using just now. So we've got a bunny head, a little egg, another bunny and just in case two bunnies wasn't enough, another one and a chick. So yes, I am going to see how many I'm making and then we'll problem solve as we go. Scrap that, scrap that. So I have all my stuff out on the worktop. I've already tried to do this once off camera, but we're going to try again to roll this out, the shortbread. Okay, so I am going to finish decorating these cookies before I then move on to the um, other thing that I'm going to bake. So I need to select which cookies are actually viable to give to people, which obviously it's not going to be this one here. So an egg. A bunny, and a bunny face. Okay, so for the icing, I have the Dr. Oat Care um, pasta ones, and yeah, I'm hoping they'll turn out okay. Here are the biscuits decorated. I went and broke one, so it's currently in my mouth. But yeah, I think that's enough um, to be handing about along with the tray bake. Um, I'm not too happy with that one, but hey ho. But the rest of them I think look pretty good. Okay, many hours later, I am going to do part B. So, it's a tray bake. Easter tray bake, basically just whack loads of Easter sweets in a tray bake. Hope for the best. Okay, so the next instruction is to melt butter, sugar, syrup and the cocoa in a large saucepan. Okay, so this is the saucepan that I'm using because the large one is humongous. Um, just trying to zero those scales again. So 150 grams of butter, it says, I found other butter that prevents me from using the really good stuff. So, that is 85 we have so far. There we go, 154, I'm just a rough estimator. So um, the next ones are in tablespoons. So three tablespoons of castor sugar, three tablespoons of golden syrup, and six tablespoons of cocoa powder. So I'm gonna go and do that. Okay, so I have my biscuits here. We probably will need more. Um, and they haven't completely disintegrated because the rolling pin has been MIA again. So yeah, that's the second time today, but that's the amount of biscuits that I'm going with for just now. Um, I still have like another half a packet, so I'm fine. And we're just going to put in some raisins along with the... Probably should have used silk panels, but oh well. 
I've put in a handful of raisins along with the digesters because that's what the recipe says. And then here is the chocolate concoction. It appears to have split. And the sugar has burnt a little bit on the bottom, but we don't need to worry about that. So I'm just going to mix that in now. Um, yeah, I'm going to need more to bulk it out. Because um, it's far too liquidy. So I'm just going to use the rest of this packet of digestives. There's no point in one thing, however many. Time to go at it with my hands again. Okay, that sounded so wrong. So I'm having to put another bar of chocolate in because, as you can tell, it doesn't look that chocolatey. I've had to put some more raisins in as well because it just didn't look like a lot. Um, and I bought this chocolate specifically for this purpose, so yeah, just going to break that up and melt it. Okay, so the final part of this is to add some jellies and some mini eggs to it out. I think I'm going to have to cut these up though because usually they come up too large. I'm not using the whole packet though, I'm saving some for myself because these jelly bunnies, mm, I've bought a few packets of these already this year. Just cutting them in half. So here is the tray bake. Apparently my mum thinks I'm on a mission to kill people with this. I feel the weight in that. Ooh. Yeah, it's heavy. But um, jellies, chocolate, mini eggs, everything. I won't be giving it all away because I love things like this. But yeah. That is my Easter baking video, so if you did enjoy, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you next time. Meadow would also like to say goodbye. <laughs>